Hey everyone, I am Bryce, and today I am going to explain to you how to use SendGrid to send emails. So, make sure to stick around until the very end to discover the steps you need to take for effective email marketing using SendGrid. First of all, open up your SendGrid website. This platform simplifies email marketing for businesses, whether you are doing it for yourself or offering marketing services. Moreover, this platform offers scalable email marketing campaigns, which is a key feature. Unlike many other campaigns, it is easy to expand and is both effective and starts for free. Now let us move on and check out its pricing. Here, as you can see, it offers four different plans such as free, essential, pro, and premium plan. So the pre plan is obviously of no cost and includes some features like one teammate permission, one event webhook, ticket support, and more. Moreover, you can send 100 emails daily at no cost, which is perfect for a small business that is starting. So it is a good deal because even if you have a thousand customers, you can reach them all within 10 days by sending 100 emails daily. Although there is a limit, it is still a good plan. Now the essentials plan starts at 19.95 US dollars per month and comes with some features. It is for 50,000 emails and once you exceed this limit, you will need to pay extra for more emails. Now the pro version is about $89.95 per month and it is also for 50,000 emails. Moreover, it also offers some features like deliverability insights, single sign-in, five event webhooks, and more. Lastly, the premium plan offers 1,000 teammates, permission, 5,000 email validations, and deliverability insights. Now go ahead and click on the Start for Free button on the top right corner. After that, enter your email address and password. Then, provide your information such as your first name, last name, your company name, and website and also your phone number. Once done, then simply click on the Get Started button. Here, as you can see, using two-factor authentication adds extra security to your account. It ensures protection by asking for both your password and an authentication code during login. Now, this is what your welcome page will look like. Now, on the left side of your screen, there is a navigation panel where you can locate your dashboard and email API. After that, under your email API, you have two sub features like dynamic templates and integration guide. Now, click on the dynamic templates option. Here, click on the create a dynamic template option. So you can start by making your first email template. For example, here, I am going to create an Iman email template. Then, simply click on the create button. Now, you can open the template and then click on the add version button located at the bottom. Furthermore, you can open a blank version or you can also click on the send grid email design to proceed. Here, as you can see, these are amazing preset designs and you can simply use them by copying and entering your information. Also, they offer various designs with multiple themes that you can choose from. Now, I am going to show you how you can create your template design and how to customize it. But before diving into that, let us do a quick overview of our marketing features. Now, in our integration guide, you have a limit to send emails. Now, in the integration guide, you will find details about creating a single sender and you can also create your sender identity. This is how your email will appear when sent, so make sure that it looks as professional as possible. Now, let us move on and in the marketing section, you will find various options like automation, single sends, and more. In automation, set up emails to send automatically, like monthly updates or reminding customers about your empty carts. After that, in single sends, you can create one-time emails activated by specific actions, like sending a coupon or voucher code or building a personalized message for a customer. Now, let us say you're a marketing agency and you want to set this up for clients. For example, someone with a photography booking website might want to introduce a one-time new user coupon so you can use this to easily create those one-time single send emails. After that, you have the contacts option. In the contacts section, you can add all the potential leads you have for your business. After that, you have custom fields, senders, notifications, and unsubscribe groups. Next, you have your design library. Here, you can design an image or aesthetic that suits your business. In the stats section, you have a lot of different niched out stats that you get. So firstly, you can get a general overview of the types of emails you are sending. Then, 
you have your email suppression. And here in the email suppression section, you can see where you are getting unsubscribed, receiving spam reports or blocks. Now, let us go back to our design library and send an email. So click on your dashboard. Here, click on the design editor for a simple design. And there is also the option to use APIs. But if you want to design the email yourself, you can also select send grid email designs. Now here, I will preview the design, duplicate it, and open the duplicate and the design editor. Once you are done with this, now you have two options. You can test it or send it to a specific email address. So now I am going to click on the send text message option here. Now I will check your Gmail account to see if the email goes in the spam folder or goes directly to the inbox. Furthermore, you can use in-app testing to check if your emails are getting marked as spam so you can do a spam test as well. Also, you can do inbox rendering. Now wait a few moments for the email to be delivered to your account. After that, you have to save your email template. And once saved, you can customize your email template by double clicking on any section you want to replace. So the editing tools are on the left side of your screen and you can use the delete option to remove any items. After that, go to your profile and then go into your marketing section and then click on the automation option. Here, you can automate a certain email. Now here, I have created this welcome email and it will be sent to new contacts when they join. Also, I can create my own custom automation. So if someone makes a specific product purchase, you can send them an email. Just click on select in the custom section and add those input variables. So you can choose your criteria like all contacts or specific conditions for certain subjects for certain contacts and enter the relevant details. For example, you can categorize contacts as frequent purchasers or little customers in the contact section and then send them specific automation accordingly. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you got some value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.